What's up, peeps? It's Thompson and Thompson Gaming. Well, technically only one of the Thompsons is here right now. Well, I mean, we're both here. Only one of them is playing. I'm playing this game. She's playing Minecraft, which you're not seeing. If I put a screen recorder on your computer, I totally would have you record the screen right now, just so I could put it in the corner. But I didn't. I don't want to put this. On. So we're just playing this. So yeah, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. New game. I'm aware that this is a psychological horror game. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. I am very easily disturbed. Let's go. Not really. I like Doki Doki. That walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. I don't know what it's Full kitchen, running water, really has everything. Finally, a place where I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to attack. Ah! Achoo! Sorry, everyone, it must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Mar Mariah or Mar I think that's Mariah. M A R I A H. Mariah? Don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, we can make this cabin shine. So are you volunteering to, volunteering to clean, Gregor? Wow, I can't speak. No. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Why does he have an animal buddy? He just has, like, a, an animal thing on his shoulder. I don't even know what it is. It's like a, it's like a gray and brown Pikachu. Leave that to me, oh, little okay. guy. I'll tiny up around the cabin. Need to save Mariah from dying due to this dust. <laughs> hey! Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. This game was released in late 2020, so... I don't know if that's gonna play in or not. Why did I say... Well, I mean, I guess saying the year matters in general, but it had nothing to do with the Whatever! Keep going! He's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. This seems ominous. Is his name Anatoly? Anatoly? How do you say his name? And A N A T O L Y. Anatoly or Anatoly are the two ways I can think of. I think I'll go foraging outside. With over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds, there's bound to be treasure up here! Nothing it is fun. Anatoly knows so much about edible food. We're in good hands. I'm gonna stick with Anatoly because that's what my first thought was. I think the slime molds would be the most delicious. A little weird. And why is slime molds in different font? Or it wasn't just folded. I don't know. Most certainly not. What about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I, uh, I can figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Eek! Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. They won't be a problem. I read up on ten different techniques to incapacitate them. Number one is... Anatoly! Oh yeah, sorry Mariah. Got carried away again. Haha! <laughs> I'll help Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. If we come up empty-handed, we can always eat some of the food we've brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Bad bolded. Hey, Anatoly and Mariah are getting the food. Gregor is gathering the firewood. That makes you our designated chef! Everyone's looking at you expectantly. Oh, I'm apparently a separate character. I did not realize this. Why is there a download button? Or is that not... That, that, that looks like a download button. <laughs> you know. Very excited to try your cooking. Alright, everyone. Let's go to work while there's still sunlight. Later. Mariah. Anatoly, Gregor, the three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Tutorial! 
To save the game, right-click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. Hey look, a menu! The menu also allows you to adjust volume levels or exit to the title screen to view unlockable. PLEASE NOTE! Going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving will remove progress you've made. Be sure to save. Do you have any experience making meals? Absolutely not. You cook for me. I'm terrible at it! No, you're not. Every time you cook for me, it's been really good. And it's really stressful! Doesn't mean you can't do it. I have panic attacks! Probably not. I'm extremely lazy. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Let me know if you need help with anything. I'm pretty good with a knife. This this lady is creepy. Let's please with your answer. Perhaps this is the beginning of a wonderful relationship? Eh. Karen will remember that. Oh right, this is technically a dating sim. I forgot about that. Oh dear lord, why pixelated hearts? The relationship is stronger. Anyways, going to check out the living room. What? There's a possibility to stay from the If she goes after her all again. Let's talk later. I'm like attempting to do voices, but I have no voice to use for Mariah for some reason. <laughs> You're killing a villager. Hey look, that house looks exactly like the one I stole in my Minecraft world. I put one down. There's no bed. Why wouldn't you just use one that's already down there? Like, because I, I don't know. That was the first one I had. I don't fucking know. No. Karen heads in the living room and starts dusting a bit. We decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. You never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? Let's search behind the wood pile. That's exactly where I should find ingredients. Nothing but cobwebs back here. Thankfully, no spiders. The drawers. The drawers on the left. Just some dirty knives. Dirty with what? Yeah. Cupboards. First few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else. Those were my three options. <laughs> I just got a floating. We would look at the wood logs closer. This is just a pile of Norway spruce! The Norway spruce won't burn as hot as logs from an oak tree. These would be useless during a snowfall. You reconsider your views on Norway spruce. It's less dense and won't fill the cabin with a heavy smell. The supplies aren't anywhere near here. Okay, I think we're out of... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn it, this game's now gonna be funny. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I like funny, so what am I? You check the drawer above the mouse hole. Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing? You check the drawer above the wood pile. Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might. Wee! Cabbage! Oh my god. They're cute. They're so cute! It's time! Trumpets, sound off! Onion! Never fear, Onion is here! Run! Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion! Raspberry! Always marry, Raspberry! Oh, yeah. Hello? Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. <laughs> we the Trumpets! Why talk with those boring humans? Yes, All they have to give you is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook. We'll share with you our secret chompette recipes. Collect them. Collect them all to become a five-star chef. You can try to unlock recipes in the main menu under extra, but be sure to save the game. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate. Meat free! You unlocked your first recipe. Oh, yeah. You ever want to talk? Just come to the drawer. Chomp it! Uh -huh. Let's move out! Hey? Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. You wonder if what you just saw was real. You're slightly worried what this means for your mental state. <laughs> 
<laughs> but only slightly. Hey, did you find the supplies? You shake your head. Anatoly lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies! Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Tonight's entree, vegetable stew. In a large saucepan over medium heat, you heat some water with potatoes, carrots, and celery in it. Fifteen minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. Burn some chopped onions in, you cook it about ten minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect! You next mix in some... Mi you next mix in some flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding the vegetables to the mixture. Hours pass. I wasn't allowed to check the cupboards. We're back! More firework than you'll ever need! We found some wild sorrel! Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty! Anatoly's burying the lead! We saw a red deer! M M Mariah spotted it! Yeah, that's great. Anyways... Killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer! Yeah! That should come as no surprise. There's over 160 species of spiders here. Oh. 160?! Don't worry, Mariah. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. Heh, <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the couch. Ah! Oh. I was going to sleep on the couch! That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on that couch then! Hmm. And there's only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat it, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in the rocking chair. <laughs> I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Gregor. Karen and Anatoly, you two take the bedroom. Th thanks, big guy. Joke's on you, Gregor. I always planned on taking one of the beds. Hey, Anatoly, I snore louder than a lumber yard. Ick. Sweet dreams, chump. She is mean. <laughs> You turn back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. Hmm. <sighs> this tastes pretty good. You cooked vegetable stew. You set the table and ask everyone to dig in. Oh, now everyone looks nicer. <sighs> oh wow, this smells delicious. Thank you. You must be a world-class chef. Karen takes a bite. It's bland as hell. Karen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've had. So generic. Should probably use some meat next time. Gross! And for a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize the Fregaria. What the? Fregaria Vesca. Also known as strawberries, for some jam. Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ribbing. That does not sound polite. <laughs> Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best day you've ever had. You go to bed stuff. Day zero. Day one. Hey, you up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need a blanket. Why did he glitch? Was, was he supposed to glitch over there? What, what time is it? About one hour until dawn! Will you two pipe down? Trying to sleep over here! Apparently she's just a witch now. But my voice changed. Whew. <sighs> Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better get a head start on gathering food! I honestly can't see the trees outside right now! Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bed- <coughs> That voice did not work. There was a small one in the bedroom. Did you say bathroom? I don't know if you said bedroom or bathroom now. Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. 
Mariah turns a little pale. Karen's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more than Wild Sorrel today. Ah! If you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. What's with you and me, big guy? <sighs> Anatoly's Herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. You know I'm not, uh, into meat. The word meat is kind of getting bigger. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries! What is with all of these bolded text? It's bugging the shit out of me! It's like every single ingredient has to be bolded, and some of them just decide to be bigger than others. I love blackthorn berries! <laughs> what the hell was that? I hurt my own ears with that. <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You nod. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Don't steal anything, okay? You know. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a hop to their step. You're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of chompettes to keep you company. Each day you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You only get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Uh... Let's go to the basement. Because, you know, that's where you want to go in the creepy cabin in the middle of the woods. This door goes into the basement. There's no reason to go into the basement right now. You wait for the others to return. What a waste of a day. Oh, sh oh, look at his face. Look at his face. We're back. <laughs> Knock it off, Mariah. Pretty rare to be scared of one. It's not! <laughs> Junior the big guy would be so scared of. Shut up! You don't understand. Daddy. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmot, Gregor, not a monster. Mariah laughed so hard that your ears ring. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep doing that. Jesus! Tears are rolling down Mariah's cheeks. She's laughing so hard she's about to hyperventilate. Stop Mariah from hyperventilating? Absolutely not. One less mouth to feed, right? Whoa! You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. I, uh... Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite the selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. Is this gonna be enough for a good meal? Everyone's looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty, cabbage rolls. You first bring a large pot of water to boil, then let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, draining the pot into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you can blend some cooked rice, uh, onion, and egg, salt, and pepper, along with some tomato sauce. And you use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. You place the cabbage rolls in a large skillet over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. You reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage rolls simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with the liquid. You cooked the cabbage rolls! This... This game is trying to make you think that it's a cooking game. But there's no actual cooking in this game. Mariah looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite.
<laughs> That's pretty darn good. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really, <coughs> it really adds to it. Put some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Incredible. It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This was really something special. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. My fingers are cold. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be another great day. Something is coming. <sighs> Good morning, everyone! Again, Gregor? Can't you let us sleep in? Not today! Why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Gregor's also correct. Particip Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas of being high risk for flooding. It'd be foolish to not go out and look for food today. Do you really think it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from floodwaters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Gregor. Karen, there's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. <clears throat> I think she's an <clears throat> I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Anatoly, let's go out and prepare for the storm. Foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods and it's better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll plot out a route with some paper. Let me help, little guy. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Ryan and Karen are still hanging around. Unfortunately in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to talk to? I'm gonna be honest here, I don't like Karen. Let's talk to Mariah. Mariah is paging through some of the books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. There's some great books here. Which one is your favorite? The crafting one. Oh, me too. Metallurgy is so interesting. I'm curious about what alloy composition our cauldron is. I haven't seen one like that before. Anyway, great choice. You think Mariah will remember that? Didn't know you were so smart. Let's talk again later, okay? You start to blush a little. You hear a cheer from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. No, I'm not interested. What is it with you and a cheese milkshake? Like, you're just like... Gregor and, Gregor and Anatoly come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. Hey, can you cook something while we're out? You're not. Thank you. All right, everyone, we have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. The group leaves, determined as ever. You have the cabin all to yourself. What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? We didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. It seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. You got the strange radio! Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Let's go to the bathroom. 
You remember an old tale about a child who said a killer's name three times into a mirror. But you can't remember how it ended. You're too frightened to even try it. You leave the bathroom a little more scared than when you entered. Mariah's back early today. Hey, the others are still looking for food outside. Anatoly found some more berries, but nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others, but I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food, even with rationing to last if there's a big storm and we get stuck here. Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You're not. Thank you. You've done such a great job with meals so far. You're very sweet. You're very sweet. The space is important. Is Mariah blushing a little bit? Tee hee hee. Mariah will remember that. Ooh, I got two hearts! Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime. You nod. Looking forward to it. Hey, you could hold cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Eat, uh, you missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, even a little purple poking out. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in morning, sailors take warning. So we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? That's awesome! You're such an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You could even see snow on the tips of the mountains. That that rumble sounded like a dying calf. You look from person to person trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Mariah. Mariah! Mariah, I'd recognize that sound from anywhere! Yeah! Guilty! Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Ahem. <clears throat> Those who have it, do not want it. Those who have it least, succeed. Those who have it for too long, perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Mariah's face lights up. I got it. Is it hunger? Correct! Yeah, I was gonna guess that. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small mortar and pestle, spreading it on some crusty bread. You cooked raspberry jam and bread. It has quotes. The bread's a little... tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this homemade jam is to die for! <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Mariah! Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal. But I got the job done. Everyone thanks for dinner and heads off to sleep. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything. But it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in cool water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle, 
Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing under the waters. But it won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting to the sky, into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Whoa! That was creepy. Achievement unlocked, just a dream. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this first part here. In the next episode, we'll continue with this.